Hi, St. Michael's staff. Welcome to the fourth week of Lent or the seventh year of Lent, as a student informed me yesterday. So however your Lent is going, hey, what are you doing? Maggie, I am recording a video for the staff and I'm going to have to edit this out. I was totally going to do that. What? No, I'm coming. This is okay. Coming in. All right. Well, you don't need to take up all the space. Anyways. Okay, so how's your fish fillet eating going? She was in a fish fillet competition. <laughs> That's really gross. How's your <laughs> Lent going? <laughs> My Lent's like a little bit of a struggle this year. What is yours like? I'm equally struggling. I'm equally yeah. struggling. Um, this year, I decided to give up all drinks except water. Um, because I just realized I would reach for drinks based off my emotions. So I, if I was exhausted and tired, I'd be reaching like for my cup of coffee and be like, this is going to fulfill me and like make me energized instead of going to prayer and Jesus and trusting him to fulfill me. Um, or if I was like hungry or irritated, I loved reaching for like LaCroix and <laughs> I realized. It's so gross. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks it's soapy water. It's not. I promise you, drink it for five months and you'll start to have a hint of, hint of, hint of lime. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but anyways, I would reach for those instead of like going to prayer with like what I was irritated with or what I was hungry for because I'm actually hungry for Jesus. Yeah. But it's been it's starting to turn into like this checklist. So how's your life going? Um. Well, I deleted social media off my phone because I found myself just reaching for my phone when I am bored for like two seconds. And so I'm trying to change my habit. And instead of reaching for my phone, I want to reach for scripture. Um, so instead of, like, this endless scrolling that I used to do, mm -hmm. I actually want to, like, open up the endless scroll. <laughs> <laughs> We're full of jokes. Yeah, well, well, what's your strategy to, like, end Lent? Yeah, my strategy of ending Lent. I've actually been praying about this, I think, kind of through the entirety of Lent. Because um, I think for all of my life, I've kind of seen Lent as this checklist of this, like, improvement plan. Mm -hmm. um, and I just have to, like, mark off these boxes, and then I'm going to be better. Um, but what Jesus is teaching me is that, Lent is more about him taking me on a journey, on a path to holiness, rather than did I succeed or not today. He's, a, he's saying, did you love me or not today? Hmm. What's your strategy? Uh, my strategy is looking at the how. How are we going to like reach this new level mm -hmm. of holiness, reach yeah. this new level of relationship with Jesus? Mm -hmm. And the way that we do that is actually not looking on, on yesterday, whether or yeah. not we've uh, succeeded or failed, but actually mm -hmm. beginning again today. And... What I want to challenge you, the teachers, this week is to, to take one of your afternoons after school and to go over to the Eucharistic Adoration Chapel and just spend 20 minutes, just give up the 20 minutes that, that would take you actually driving home and just waste a little bit of time with Jesus and then begin again, begin again with your Lenten promise. And actually, when, when you give time to Jesus, it's never wasted time. And so that's what we want to invite you to during this fourth week of Lent. Yes, and just like join us on our path to holiness, our path to the cross, and our path to the resurrection of Easter joy. So have a happy Lent. Let's do it.